Welcome to Fire and Interior. This is Latefe. In this video, I'm going to talk about tips and tricks for having the best bedroom possible. I try to escape the general rules of decorating that I mentioned in my other videos, such as decluttering, keeping the space clean, and avoiding matchy matchy furniture. Instead, I offer fresh ideas. I will also talk about some small space solutions plus home offices. So just be patient and stay tuned until the end. Let's talk about the layout of the bedroom. The layout of a bedroom can greatly impact the functionality, comfort, and overall aesthetics of the space. Here are some general guidelines to keep in mind when thinking about the bedroom layout. Determine the size and shape of the room. When planning the layout, it's essential to measure the room's dimensions, including the height, length, and width. This will help you to look for the appropriate furniture size and placement. Consider the function of your bedroom. A bedroom serves a variety of functions, depending on the individual's lifestyle, needs, and preferences. Therefore, in decorating a bedroom, it's crucial to know exactly how you are going to use this room. I mean that decorating should meet the needs and preferences of the person using it. Here are some of the most common functions of a bedroom. Sleeping The primary function of a bedroom is to provide a comfortable and quiet space for sleeping. Relaxation a bedroom can be a place to unwind and relax after a long day. This can include activities such as reading, listening to music, or meditating. Storage A bedroom can also serve as a storage space for clothing, accessories, and other personal items. This can include a closet, dresser, or other storage solutions. Dressing A bedroom can be a space for getting ready in the morning, including dressing, grooming, and applying makeup. Work or study with the rise of remote work and online learning, some people may use their bedroom as a workspace or study area as well. Now, let's review the things that we can do to simply enhance our bedroom layout. Create a functional flow. Whatever the function of your bedroom is, it's important to consider the flow of traffic and ensure that there is enough space to move around comfortably. The layout should allow for easy access to the bed, closet, and other furniture pieces. Having a sitting area I highly recommend whatever your room functionality is, it is the best to consider a sitting area that is not your bed. Creating a separate sitting area is a great idea for several reasons. It promotes relaxation. A separate sitting area in your bedroom allows you to have a dedicated space for relaxation and unwinding. You can use this space to read a book, meditate, or simply sit and reflect on your day. This promotes a sense of calm and helps you to unwind before bed. It adds visual interest. Adding a separate sitting area to your bedroom can add visual interest and create a focal point in the room. This can help to make the space feel more inviting and personalized. Consider adding a small table and comfortable chair or an armchair and ottoman to create a cozy and inviting sitting area in your bedroom. You may say my bedroom is so small and I can't afford the space to have a separate sitting area. In this case, there are some solutions. You can combine the storage solution and the sitting area. I mean, you can just have a chair and a table with some storage possibilities. Secondly, you can arrange a chair and table in the corner of your room the way we see it in some hotel rooms. And last, you can have a cozy sitting area on the floor and maybe a corner of your room with some pillows, floor lamps, or a small table. Basically, whatever the available space allows you to. This works best for rooms with bohemian style or eclectic. Bedroom slash home offices now let's talk about bedrooms that are also home offices or study rooms. When designing such spaces, it's important to create a layout that maximizes productivity while still maintaining a comfortable and relaxing environment for sleeping. Here are some tips to help you achieve this. Separate the sleeping and working areas. To create a clear line between your sleeping and working areas, I believe the best and easiest way is to consider positioning your bed on one side of the room and your desk on the other. Choose a desk that fits the space. When selecting a desk, consider the size and layout of your room. If you have limited space, opt for a smaller desk that can fit a corner or against a wall. If you have more space, a larger desk or a desk with built-in storage may be a better option. 
Position the desk near natural light. Natural light can help improve productivity and mood, so consider positioning your desk near a window. If this isn't possible, invest in a good quality task lighting to ensure adequate light for working. Now, let's talk about beds and bedding, as it is the most important part of any bedroom. Well, if you watched my other videos, I'm sure that you won't be surprised if I say don't push your bed against the wall. While it may seem like a good idea to push the bed against the wall in a bedroom to save space or create a cozy feel, there are several reasons why it's not recommended. Lack of access When the bed is pushed against the wall, it can be difficult to access it from both sides, which can be problematic if you share the bed with a partner or need to get up frequently during the night. Uneven wear and tear Placing the bed against the wall can cause uneven wear and tear on the mattress and bedding, as well as the wall itself. This can lead to premature wear and damage to both the bed and the wall. Poor air circulation When the bed is pushed against the wall, it can restrict airflow around the bed, which can lead to issues with dampness, mold, and mildew. This would negatively impact your health and quality of sleep. Negative energy flow According to feng shui principles, placing the bed against the wall can disrupt the flow of energy in the room, which can lead to negative impacts on your well-being and relationships. Of course, there are so many other reasons to not push the bed against the wall besides feng shui ideology. Instead, the best scenario is to try to position the bed in the center of the room, with equal access from both sides to ensure maximum comfort and proper airflow. But if this is not possible for your space, then consider having at least 18 inches distance between each side of the bed and wall. Well, if you have a very small space and you do not have any other option rather than pushing the bed against the wall, there are a few things you can do to minimize the negative effects. Opt for a smaller bed. In a small space, a larger bed can feel overwhelming and take up valuable floor space. Consider using a smaller bed such as twin or full-size bed to make the most of the available space. Add a beside table. If you are only able to access one side of the bed, make sure to add a beside table or floating shelf to provide a surface for a lamp, books, or other essentials. Keep the rest of the room minimal. When the bed is pushed against the wall, it's important to keep the rest of the room minimal and uncluttered to prevent the space from feeling cramped. Use simple furnishing and a few well-chosen decorative accents to create a calm and inviting atmosphere. Remember, in a small space, every inch counts, so it's important to use the available space wisely and avoid overcrowding the room. Bedding when it comes to furnishing a bedroom, one of the most important decisions is choosing the right bedding. While bed in a bag bedding sets may seem like a convenient option, there are several reasons why it might be better to forego them and choose individual pieces instead. Purchasing bedding separately allows for greater creativity and self-expression. With a bed in a bag set, the bedding pieces are already coordinated for you, leaving little room for personalization or customization. By selecting individual pieces, you have the opportunity to mix and match different patterns, textures, and colors to create a look that truly reflects your personal style. However, it's important to exercise caution when mixing and matching different bedding pieces. It's generally best to stick with neutral colors for the main bedding pieces such as sheets, duets, and comforters and then add pops of color through accent pillows or throws. This ensures that the overall look is cohesive and not too overwhelming. Now, let's talk about color palette. Neutral color palettes are an excellent choice for bedroom due to their calming and soothing effect on the mind and body. Here are some reasons why a neutral color palette is better for a bedroom. Promoting relaxation. A neutral color palette creates a peaceful atmosphere that promotes relaxation and helps reduce stress levels. It also creates a sense of serenity, which can help you get a better night's sleep. Versatility. Neutral colors are incredibly flexible and they pair well with almost any other color. This means that you can change the look and feel of your bedroom easily by adding or removing accent pieces such as throw, pillows, or curtains without having to repaint the entire room. Timeless Neutral colors are timeless and never go out of style. They are a safe and classic choice that will always look elegant and sophisticated. 
making their room appear larger. Neutral colors have a way of making your room appear larger than it actually is. This is because they reflect light well, which makes the room feel more open and airy. Enhances natural light. Neutral colors are excellent at enhancing natural light, which is essential for creating a bright and inviting bedroom. If you have a small dark bedroom, a neutral color palette can help to brighten it up and make it feel more spacious. Let's move on to lighting. I believe having a different lighting sources is a must for a bedroom. Here are some reasons why you should consider having different lighting sources in your bedroom. Enhanced ambience. Different lighting sources in a bedroom can help to enhance the ambience of the space. For example, dimmer lights can create a warm and cozy atmosphere, while brighter lights can help you see better when getting dressed or doing other activities. Improve functionality. Different lighting sources can improve the functionality of a bedroom. For example, task lighting can be used for reading or doing work, while ambient lighting can be used to create a relaxing atmosphere. Create visual interest. Having different lighting sources in a bedroom can create visual interest and highlight different elements of the space. For example, you can use accent lighting to highlight artwork or other decorative elements in the room. Improve sleep quality. Lighting can affect your circadian rhythm and sleep quality. Having a dimmer switch or lamps with warm toned light bulbs can help you wind down and prepare for sleep. To achieve different lighting sources in a bedroom, you can use a combination of overhead lighting, floor lamps, and table lamps. Consider using dimmer switches which allow you to adjust the brightness of the light to suit your needs. You can also experiment with different types of light bulbs such as warm tone bulb for a cozy feel or daylight tone bulbs for better visibility. Additionally, make sure to layer the lighting by using different light sources in different areas of the room. This can help create a more balanced and visually appealing space. Rugs Rugs are a great way to add texture, warmth, and color to a bedroom. Here are some rug rules for a bedroom. Choose the right size. The size of your rug is important. The general rule is to have a rug that is large enough to extend beyond the foot of your bed and to each side. This creates a balanced look and ensures that your feet are on the rug when you get out of the bed. Consider material. The material of your rug is important. Wool and cotton are popular choices for bedroom rugs because they are soft and durable. If you have allergies, you can also consider using those rugs since they are made from natural fibers instead of synthetic materials. Maintenance Your rug should be easy to maintain. Consider the durability and ease of cleaning when choosing a rug for your bedroom. By following these rug rules, you can choose the perfect rug for your bedroom that will add warmth, comfort, and style to your space. Let's talk about the style. When it comes to decorating a bedroom, having an interior design style in mind can greatly impact the overall look and feel of the room. While some may argue that the base of the room is the most important aspect to incorporate a style, I believe it is still possible to have an interior style in mind with the existing room structure and furniture. Having a defined style in mind can help guide your decorating decisions and ensure that everything works together harmoniously. Even if you already have existing furniture pieces that cannot be changed, there are still ways to incorporate your desired style into the room. You can use accessories and decor to tie everything together and create a cohesive look. For instance, you can use throw pillows, bedding, curtains, and artwork to match the style you want to achieve. You can also add small decor items like vases, lamps, and candles that complement the overall aesthetics. Additionally, having a style in mind can help you make decisions about what to keep and what to let go of. If a piece of furniture decor item does not fit with your desired style, you can consider selling or donating it to make a room for something that does. Ultimately, the key is to choose a style that speaks to you and makes you feel comfortable and happy in your own space. And last but not least, incorporating artwork and mirrors. Artwork can serve as a focal point or add a pop of color to a space, while mirrors can make a room appear larger and reflect light to brighten up a dark space. 
In my other videos, I discuss the importance of choosing the right size and placement for your artwork and mirrors. By incorporating these design elements into your room, you can create a space that feels unique and personalized. Be sure to check out my other videos for more tips and inspiration on how to elevate your home decor. That is it for this video. I hope with these tips you can achieve your dream bedroom.